Hello. Alright, Celeste. Why am I here with Celeste? Why am I here with Celeste, you might ask? And it's because it's one of my favourite games I've ever made. So, um, recently, um, my uh, Kim, my other half, she was playing... I don't know why, but she started playing Super Mario World. <laughs> Played through Super Mario World. She really loves platformers. She's actually just really good at like old school Mario games. Um, she played a lot of Mario Bros. 35 and stuff. She finished Odyssey, and then her last game that she played was Super Mario World. She just got sucked in one night. <laughs> it like, took her a week to get through it all. Like Every level, she knew. She knows every secret. It's insane. And I said, you know what? You need to play my favorite platformer, um, Celeste. And then, because I did that, um, because I, I kind of introduced her to it, I really wanted to play it again. Um... I don't actually, I didn't have it on Steam, I only ever had it on, on the Switch, where it first came out. Maybe it came out at the same time, I'm not really sure. But, basically, uh, I, I just absolutely loved it, and I completed it, and I mean like 100, oh yeah, 100% completed it, which is, got all the strawberries, beat all of the levels, did all of the B-sides, and... Seasides, so I collected all of the different coloured hearts. Got into the sea the last world and did all of that as well, being seaside. Really, really crazy difficult, right? To do it all. Took me 30 hours, I'm pretty sure my save file says. 30 hours and like six thousand deaths. Maybe all close to seven thousand. But I got 178 strawberries. So I believe the game has 175. 178, you need to do extra stuff. There's a couple of secret strawberries. And then there's, every time you beat a level without dashing or something crazy, you get a golden strawberry. But it's really hard to do. Like, you have to learn all of these, ta like, techniques where you can climb walls without using stamina. Um, where you can land on the edge of spikes and it doesn't kill you by, like, a pixel. It's crazy. Really crazy. So I only did it for, like, a level or two. Um, loved the game. Went back about three months later and beat it all again. This time in, like, ten hours with... 2,000 lives. Um, and I always thought, I'm going to, like, do all three save files, right? That, that was the idea. I'm going to do all three save files because I just loved it and I wanted to play it again. And then I ended up never going back because I heard there was going to be DLC. The DLC came out a year after release. And this is what I always say about DLC. There's something I always say. And it, it's, um, I'm done with the game now. Like, it, DLC is always end game content. So to get good enough to play it, you need to play through the game again. That's how I see it. Like, I'm playing um, Ancient Gods DLC at the minute. Um, Doom, I'm going to be streaming that this weekend, actually. The second part. We did the first part this weekend. Or last weekend, should I say. But it really took a while to get back into it. And I couldn't play it on Nightmare. I had to play it on Ultra Violence. Um, even though I played the whole campaign on Nightmare. I just, I wasn't going to be fast enough. I couldn't even remember the controls. I just, all of this stuff, you know. You lose it after a year. You've moved on to other games. So I just never went back to Celeste. Um, I had other stuff I was doing. In fact, I moved to Mexico and did all of that as well. Moved back to Mexico, should I say. So, and I just never got around to it, but I still, it really is one of my, um, is 100% top five games of all time. Probably Spelunky, Celeste, maybe Street Fighter Four is on there. Um, maybe Hades is even on there. Isn't this a secret? I can't remember. It feels like maybe not actually. Could oh crap. So um, hey, what the hell? Holding the uh, the controller wrong. I use D-pad on Celeste. I don't know who wouldn't. I think you'd have to be insane to not. Uh, yeah. Then we have to be have to be insane to not use D-pad. Maybe that's not a secret. I think I'm tricking myself there. I'm seeing that little block. We can't dash or or double jump here. So we're gonna jump off the wall. There we go. Grab that. Now we can dash. Strawberries only get collected when you land again and like give them a second so like I know most I know All of the secrets in this game, but I might not remember all of every single one um, But my idea is I thought I might as well just make another little mini series because I want to play the game again I might as well just record some videos, you know for that sweet sweet content Gotta make that content. Well, I need to jump at the peak. You need to use the momentum of this thing It's not working. Here we go. Come on Come on. Momentum. No. Mm, more. No. Well, we got it anyway. Maybe that's all the momentum we're going to get from that one. 
Is there a secret here? Yes. There we go. Um, so hey, I'm just going to be running through this. I'm not going to be like speedrun it or anything. People are insane. Like say I, the whole reason I'm replaying it again is because I want to get to the DLC. Um, that I never got to play. Um, but to do that, I'm going to play through the whole game again and try and get as far as I can, collect all the strawberries, do all the other B-sides and stuff. But I might not do it all. We'll see. I do need to turn it down a little bit. Maybe I need to turn it down for you guys. Oh, I'll have to see afterwards. Basically, the music in this game is the best ever in any game. It's, it's up there. So is Hades and so is Spelunky. All of these amazing games that I love. Um, they also have incredible music. Although this game also has a really beautiful story as well. Um, about Madeline and her climb to the top of this mountain. Um, and she's doing it because she's kind of at an impasse where she doesn't know what to do with her life. And so she just wants to challenge herself and she thinks that climbing this mountain is going to inspire her kind of. She's also f she's full of anxiety and she's a little bit depressed. She's kind of a, you know, it's, 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 we live in a time, I think that depression's quite rampant at the minute, right? It has been for a while, but it's, we live in a time where people have so many options that they don't even know what to do. Like in back, back <laughs> however many years ago, hundreds of years ago, it's like, yeah, you're a farmer because your dad's a farmer and you, you make, you know, clothes because that's what your family does, right? And now it's like, it's so many decisions and uh, it, it's kind of even scary, which is obviously such a privilege, but uh, it's daunting. And I think she's she's lost, doesn't know what she wants to do. Here we go. I know, I know I'm like skipping through all this, but I've seen it a few times and I'm sure everybody else has as well if you're watching this. Otherwise, uh, I really encourage you to play this game because even if... Um, even if you are not very good at platformers or you, you know, you just, you don't want a, a game that's so challenging and going to take you all, you know, all this time. YOLO! Uh, you're going to be able to use assist mode. So let me show you what assist mode is really quick. I cannot show you. Maybe it's our oh, speedrun clock as well. That's awesome. Basically, there's, there's an assist mode somewhere. I think it's on the main menu and you can have like unlimited dashes and you can't die and spring gets everybody gets you every time um so there's all of these different um ways to to help you play the game and if you want you can still have a bit of a challenge like give yourself just one extra dash or you know however you want to kind of do it or you can just make it so you can't die or something like that and just run through the game it's totally fine and if you want to experience a game like that that's that's fine but it's, it's there available if you want to so i would encourage pretty much everybody who's ever played a video game to play this because i i love it uh, it's it's amazing. And a lot of the secrets are really fun to find. Of course, I'm not going to be... I'm probably not going to have much trouble going through them all. This section is probably the hardest part of um, doing the level without any dashes. Getting around from... Getting around from this girder. Around here. Oh, I did it in like the first try as well. Oh my god. Yeah, but you've got to do this like weird technique. Oh my god. I, I mean, I did it, but you have to then do it all the way up there as well. I can't believe I was doing that. That's insane. Climbing without stamina the first time after all, all this, uh, after like three years or whatever. That's crazy. Yeah, it took me a long time to, to learn that, so. <laughs> I guess it uh, doesn't leave you very easily. All right, where are we going? Oh, this is a super secret area where we're going to get a heart. This is a really nice little puzzle. Get a strawberry. But you can see the colours on the machine. And you can see the birds dashing in different directions. So you've got to follow the colours. Um, so we're going to go white, purple, blue. We'll start with white, purple, blue. Alright, so which way does white go? White goes up. Purple goes here. Blue goes down at an angle. Let's watch the screen again. So we had white, purple, blue. Red, Purple, yellow. So red, there. Purple, there. Yellow, there. There we go. And that's going to give us the first heart. Very nice. Lovely. Lovely. Pointless machines. Let's get out of here. I don't know where. I don't remember, like, everything in the game. Like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably be able to find a lot of the secrets. 
Especially the ones that maybe took me a little while to find myself, because they're going to be the ones that I remember the most. And we are in the early areas that I have played more often, because every time I, like, introduce people to this game, I'm kind of showing them quickly, you know, like, um, that how crazy some of the secrets actually can be. And end up showing them maybe just a little bit of this first world to convince them. Ah. It, it also, one of, uh, one of the other reasons it's so beautiful is um, obviously not just the music and, and the art and, the, and the, the characters, but the development of the characters. There's this really, whoa, beautiful way that it shows you how somebody evolves. We can see a little, ah, oh, I got spiked. Um, how the character evolves through gameplay, which are really nice, which is really nice. Something like um, if you've ever played... Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. There's something that happens at the end of that game that really, even though the game's like, okay, just that one thing kind of like made it into a masterpiece. It's just so good. Just, it tells you this story through um, a mechanic in the game that, that triggers right near the end. And it really means something by that point. And it just like breaks your heart. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and this game does the same. I won't spoil that right now, but when we get to it, I'll, I'll cover it. I'll, I'll mention... Ugh. Dash it, I'm getting a little bit too high on this thing. I can probably just... There we go. Ugh. I can probably just collect this this strawberry um, without even needing to dash if we do it correctly. There we go. Nice. Um, how do we do this one? Oh my god, we haven't even got the strawberry from there yet. Uh-oh. Well, we're gonna die here. <laughs> oh, I lost the strawberry because I didn't land. What an idiot. I'm gonna have to come back and get that one now. You know what? My yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. There we go. I'm gonna have to come back and get that strawberry very quickly. Fortunately, it's really easy to do that. Oh, oh no. Now nah, that'll do. Fortunately, it's very easy to do. Which way is... The question is, which way is the incorrect way to go from here? Um, because we want to get all of the strawberries that we can get, all of the secrets. Well, this is a strawberry area, of course, so we can dash until we get it. There we go. Nice. I also see... Uh, uh, what do I do here? Maybe from here? Uh, there we go. I can see we can sneak behind this little thing go up here as well. In here, maybe? Springs give us our jump back. There we go. Oh my god, this it's all coming back to me. It's its crazy. The, its It really sticks with you. <laughs> I just love it. Well, I started, uh, as I was mentioning, I, um, I tried to get Kim to play this. And um, she found it really, really difficult. Um, and it's funny because she was just playing Super Mario World and when I kind of like You know grabbed the controller and had had a, a few turns on that. I found Super Mario World to be really difficult <laughs> Even though it's something I obviously played um, it's been a long time since I have played it and The reason I found it difficult is because the, the controls are so slippy. You, you, you don't You forget how, just how slippy that Mario's controls are like you know is lack of air control and things like that, and Celeste is the exact opposite, where it is so, so responsive in every way um, that you just have none of that. And it's kind of weird. It's like she was losing to having too much control almost. It's, it's, it's strange because she was used to all of this kind of slippy, jumpy stuff, is what I assume. And now, um, because the... <laughs> The hard copy of Hades came. Uh, she's been playing that instead, so... Uh, and being completely obsessed with it, so... I doubt she's going to be going back to Celeste anytime soon. So I've moved over to the PC as well. Um, hmm. There's one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it there. Because you can see... Yeah, I like how all the secrets are... Mostly... Very, like, not, like, well-hidden in the sense that they're really difficult to find. They're well-hidden in the fact that they kind of give you a little clue of how to find them in the design. Although there is one heart that really, um, 
I really don't like the placement of. And it's in like the second world, so we'll see it very soon. I don't know how I'm going to split these videos up, to be honest. I'm probably just going to do like an hour at a time. We've only done 15 minutes here, so we might go through this entire first world uh, and collect everything and even go through the second one and collect everything. We're at the end. I'm exhausted. Oh, she's a real kiwi. Nothing, nothing quite like Celeste. You know what? Actually, if you're um, if you're interested in in game development, and um, you should probably know about Celeste because of many reasons. One, but one of the main ones, like I'm saying, is how fantastic the controls are, are and uh, they do all of this really brilliant game design. Oh, that's, yeah, it's that one strawberry that I lost. Really stupid. Let me just run back and get that. Uh, you can just jump back in. No, no, no. We can just jump back in and go to like a specific area like this. I'll <laughs> strawberries right at the end. We'll get to it. We'll get to it very quickly. <clears throat> um, oh. Uh, yeah, if you're into game development and you, you, you want to know why Celeste feels as good as it does. A couple of... Uh, I'm sure there's loads of videos and stuff online. For example, you see, you can run off the edge and still jump for a couple of frames afterwards. You can very clearly see me, like, falling off the edge and then being able to jump still. Or if you land a little bit too, um... If you dash against something at, like, just the right... Let, let me do it up here. See how it, like, pushes me around the side, even though I'm kind of dashing up because I'm near enough. It has all of these little ways to make you f feel better about the game. Like, um, it's it's difficult to do, right? It's difficult to, to make some of these. What am I doing? Which, which strawberry do we need to collect again? That one. Oh, because yeah, these, yeah, we can't land on there. So we'll land here. That's collected and we can actually just quit right out. That's totally fine. Um, so those little things like that, that that make the game a little bit easier um, in the sense that, you know, it, it gives you some... It helps you out if you've almost done something, but just not quite. And that is just beautiful. That's just so good. Oh, we, we can't use this dash there until we get over to the other side. I can't remember if there are any strawberries on the B sides of things. I don't think there are... It's just like a difficult thing to do. Same thing with this one, right? Where the whole idea is we can't use this dash until the last second, yep. Although this one, we actually can. And then we just wall bounce. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wall bounce doesn't use stamina. If you climb up the wall and you hold it, you can stay there for a long time. If you keep climbing, you run out of stamina. Like I said, there's all sorts of techniques in this game. Like, if you jump and use the controller to, like, push away at the right time. Oh, my God. Now I can't do it. Like that. Like that. You have to kind of, like, rub the controls round. You can actually climb without using any stamina. It's just a, a really advanced technique. And there's loads of advanced techniques like that. And you, um, if you really want to, like, 100, 100% the game, which is honestly just madness. Don't even <laughs> attempt it. Uh... You've got to learn them. Uh, and the game's teaching you all of these crazy techniques right until the very end. In fact, right at the end of the game, it teaches you can you can do this. You see that, like, speed dash along the floor? And if you, like, do it as you jump, some if you do it right, you can actually keep your dash because you're still on the ground. There, so I got a second dash, so you can go really far. I'm not really bothered about losing some lives here. This is totally fine. Okay. Yeah, got it. Really, really... Oh, this one's a little bit trickier. Yeah. How do we do this one? It's a bit of a puzzle. Hmm. I think we need to dash down to be fast enough, right? Oh, we need to dash through that little tunnel. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hmm. Okay, not fast enough. How do we get down faster? If we press down in the air, does it... No. 
We need to get over there faster. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we need to dash under there and it'll bounce us up with the thing. Okay. <laughs> I did it a bit too early. We need to do it when, the, when this spring pad's out there. Oh. Not quite. Almost. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright. What do we do here? I don't think we can make it across without the dash. What do we do? I think... Can we use the momentum? Yeah, we can. Nice, nice. We're getting there. It's all coming back to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it though? Is it? It is. This game's brilliant. <laughs> I feel really good about how I'm doing right now. Oh, I remember this. This is a bit of a pain. Yeah, you don't want to grab the walls if you can because you don't want to use the stamina. You want to be... You know what? I should have just grabbed them a, just a little fraction of a second there. Like this. And then we can use the wall bounces to, to make us way here. When we need to use the stamina... We can climb a little bit. We're not, we, we have a lot of stamina. Because we're barely using it. We're going to use a lot of it this time. <laughs> ah, my gosh. Okay. Well, that was a poor one anyway. I feel, I feel good about how well I'm doing after so long of not playing it. But it really does feel like any other game out there. It, it, it's like... The, it's perfect controls. Oh, my God. I was talking about the... Um, if you're a game developer. And I showed you some examples of why it feels so good. But what I actually wanted to say is if you are a game developer and um, you want to see exactly how it was done, Matt Thornson and his team um, who made this game, who also made the incredible tower fall that I also absolutely love, um, have the source code on GitHub. <laughs> and you can just go... You can just go download it and look through the code. Um, which is just amazing. Like, what a beautiful... Uh, what a beautiful uh, thing to do to kind of just share the game. For, for free. For free. But not just share the game. Share every single fraction of it, right? Like, everything is in the source code. Um, I don't know. You're sharing this, like, um, really personal... Um, and obviously intellectual property, this this thing that's just, I don't know. I think it's just an, a, a really beautiful gesture to the entire gaming community. But yeah, that you can actually just look at the source code and see actually what they did to make it so good. What, 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 what? We've got to be almost there now, I'm pretty sure. Ah, I thought we were high enough up. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. There we go. We're not almost there. Oh my gosh. And uh, if if you've never played Celeste or you've never um, even seen anybody play it, and you think that this looks crazy what I'm doing right now, you have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. It, it really is like insane. It gets insane. Well, we could just do that instead of even having to grab hold of that one. Excellent. I feel like maybe those... Oh, no, oops. I feel like some of those little stones, not those ones, maybe this one down here. But maybe that was added afterwards if people thought the game were a little bit too hard. Oops. Got to use the momentum of these things to throw you off. Way. Oh, no. I went too much at an angle and I was going to hit the spikes. And I couldn't correct it on time. Oh, we've got to grab that thing first. What am I doing? Okay. Hey, yo. We got it. Right, we need to make sure to go all in now. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And we made it. That's B side done. Oh, it's not. You always have a little one of these at the end. You always have one of these at the end. What am I doing here? I want to time it so that I can... 
Uh, yeah, get up on top of that pink thing, right? Okay. Patience. Uh, yeah! Got you. That's two hearts down. How do you get the final hearts of each area? I can't remember. <laughs> There's a yellow heart as well. I cannot remember. Maybe um, they unlock later on. Or is that when... You, you can get the extra tapes, the seaside tapes. Or do they just unlock from doing this, maybe? Because they're even crazier. Uh, no. Okay. We'll come back to that one then. We're only 25 minutes in. We can do an extra area. Old site. Which one's this? Is this the hotel? I feel like it is. I think I remember it being the hotel. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> oh, look at that changing text. Dedicated. Oh, yeah. I supposed to say, like, dedicated to people who fell at this mountain or something. It is the hotel. Oh, it's not the hotel. It's this area. This is the one that I meant, anyway. Oh, and this is the one with the really silly secret. Now, one thing you might notice about Celeste, but you probably won't, is if you dash over between the screen, you see how I got my dash back? So on this particular area, we can dash here, we can dash back, we can dash here, we can dash back. And then we can climb up here. And we can da and we can do the same with this screen and this screen. <laughs> really silly secret. But this was definitely the hardest thing for me to find in the entire game. And that's the heart. That's the blue heart. Ah, uh, you never forget something like that because that took me hours to figure out. Hours and hours. I was just running around this entire level. Um, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't very fun. It was not fun. I'm not gonna know where... This is, this is the part now of the game. I mean, that first area, obviously, is, there's only a couple of strawberries. In this area, there's probably a lot more little secrets as well. I know we need to activate this thing with a mirror before we really even look around. Otherwise, it's just going to be a big waste of time. Let's go. Is the mirror around here? Is the mirror around here? Is it? I can't think. I don't know where it is. Maybe this is uh, just more strawberries. No, it is. Okay, so this is what we need to do first. We need to fiend see... Nega Madeline, Dark Madeline. Oh, and then she shaz, comes into the real world and runs away. But what it does, it activates all these portal things. These like speed boosts. <sighs> yeah. And now we can go. Wow. So let's go back and get all of these secrets. We can't go back that way. We missed a little secret. Gotta go back everywhere and find everything. So first, there's nothing there that I can see. We can go up here. <laughs> there we go. Can see a little gap in that one. Nice. Go through you, go back through here, and now we have to collect all of these pieces of the strawberry. <laughs> I don't think I don't see how the pieces of the strawberry, but we have to collect them all. Little golden pips. And this block down here, out of place. I'm telling you, man. Secrets galore. This entire game is just secret upon secret upon secret. Right, and there was one in here we missed as well. I don't know if you caught it. Right there on the, on the far right-hand side at the bottom, there's a little crack in the wall. So we can go down here and we can go through it. Nice. <laughs> More than anything, this game um, teaches me to... I'm not... I don't remember where every secret is. I'm not like, ah, that one's over here, that one's over there. I just know what to look out for because I've I, I played it um, so much. And um, like I said, I did get everything in it the first couple of times. This one's a little bit harder because what we need... To, ooh, crap. What we need to do is kind of dive down at an angle and then... Oh, we, we've died. We died. We, we died. 
Um, dive down an angle, jump across, dive up again. There we go. Sweet. When we go back up, that's when the real fun begins. That's when the real level begins. So, just do this. You can see a little bit of the floor there is empty, so we can dash down. <laughs> oh, it's fun. This this took so long. Yeah, it, it takes so long to get all of these strawberries the first time. But then you just learn what the game, how the game tricks you. I might miss a few and have to come back. Um, and that's probably going to be true of several stages, but more true of later stages. The later the stage, um, probably the less I'm going to know about them because the less I've replayed them. Okay. All right, I think we're okay for secrets here. This isn't anything, right? Nah, I'd rather have a crack. We can go back up and go over here again. There's nothing. We do obviously still need to find the mixtape. We can go up there, or we can go up here. Which is another strawberry. Brilliant. Uh, one of the greatest things about Celeste is that sometimes there's secret rooms in the secret rooms. <laughs> and that is what tricks everybody, because you never expect a secret room to be in a secret room. Go up, go down, go up, go up, go down at an angle, and across. Whee! There she is. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? A concerned observer. She's so awesome. Are you me? I'm part of you. <laughs> and this is part of the development. All the bad parts of you, the anxiety, and this is what the mountain does. So the mountain kind of makes people face themselves, like the, the true inner selves. Learn about themselves. I need to climb this mountain. And everyone doubts her, of course, including herself. This is her rational side as well, I suppose, because she's not a mountain climber. Although, she's doing very well. The pragmatic part, and I'm trying to be diplomatic. This is another thing I super love about this game. At first, like, the, the way that the text is, and then it starts to go all wavy and stuff and do all crazy stuff. But then, like, the boxes where the character's heads come out, the heads, like, pop out, like her hair just did then. Super animated. There's a couple of games that do that, but not many. Another of note that I really liked, oops, another of note that I really liked that made um, a lot, uh, that got a lot out of just changing. Oh, ah, no, crap. I went at an I didn't got an angle. Um, that just changing, like, fonts and colors of words. Oh, we actually still got the strawberry because we landed. Okay. Was um, Golf Story. Can't wait for the sequel for that to come out, the, uh, the sports story. I've been waiting for a while. As soon as, uh, golf Story was a great game because it seems like it would just be a golf game and it's just absolutely not. It's like, I don't know, it's really meta. Like it has a, well, we're dying like an idiot, but um, at least I'm getting the strawberries first. All right, we've got to collect all these pieces. Oh, no, we don't. We just have to collect this one to open that. Oh, what am I doing? Any secrets in here? I can't see any. Not at a glance. Oh my god, I need to stop jump. Why am I jumping? She follows my exact path, obviously, so we want to do that. Take me back up. Oh no, it doesn't take you back up. Okay. <laughs> More of them start coming now, right? Oh, wait. Okay. Get the double dash there. Get her to come up. Yep, and then we'll... Ah! Now I'm being very silly. Yeah, Golf Story were great, and like I say, it just kind of um, shows you a lot about how the character's feeling and stuff. Just like the text, the way that it's wavy or colourful, or so it shows you when they're excited or angry and stuff, if it's really large font, and just a really nice, simple way to show you what a character's like. Hey yo, get me out of here. Any more strawberries? No, but there's more Madelines. 
I thought that that was a secret for a long time. Like, the breaking the wall. I spent a real long time in this room trying to find a way to get through this wall. Thinking that on top of this castle is where my, um, is where the beast, is where the heart would be. Not the beast side, the heart, the blue heart. Right, there's a, there is a secret in here. You can go up two, two different ways, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go up that middle instead of going across. We can go up there. There we go. And that actually is the secret. There we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that as well. There's a strawberry in there. We don't want to touch that right now. Want to go bang. We want to go bang. Oh, I didn't get high enough to, <laughs> to be comfortable to jump. Oh, no. Oh, we got away. <laughs> we got away and I still messed it up. How? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to wait here and we'll move across here. There we go. Let this ice cube break. Go across. Lovely, lovely. Whee. Whoop. 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 Oh, no, we need to go down here. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Okay. This is, a, this is an awkward room. Ah! I tried to go down an angle and I didn't go fast enough. Wow, it's going to stab me back here. Okay. At least we got the strawberry. Oh, I can actually go down that little gap there, I think. S save some time. Okay, I remember that. We'll go this way first. Hey! hey, hey. Got me with a wall jump then. I tried to jump uh, over it and I hit the wall and jumped. Ooh, 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 ooh. If any, nobody's played... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oops. If nobody's... Uh, if you haven't played this game... Or maybe if you've played this game before, but you haven't gotten all the strawberries, you should play along with me. You should... Uh, you should pick up your Switch or whatever. Turn it on. Have me on the other monitor. And um, we can just, like, play through. And I'll show you where the strawberries are. The ones that I remember, anyway. Um, I want to kind of have a quick look around. I don't think there are any here. Just got to be sure. All right. And then we're out of here. Yep. She's going to chase us. No. There's a couple of secrets here as well. Where? Where was it? Well, with these, maybe? Up here? No, there's, well, there's one where you go down. Ah, there, 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 there. Look at that. Very easy to see that one. Whoop. Secret area. Uh-oh. Not good. What do we do here? We go from the bottom instead. Ah! We go from the bottom. And we go from the bottom. <laughs> we go from the bottom. And we go from the bottom. And then we can dash across. Very simple. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Nice. My god, 40 minutes. 40 minutes we've been playing. It's felt like three seconds. I just adore this game. Uh, why would you not? Okay, I remember this one being all about these angled... Yeah. Is there a second secret up here? Um, maybe not. Maybe not. But I feel like there was a more difficult... I don't know why I can just remember a more difficult... Ah, I've killed myself. Unless we can land right on the end of that spike. <laughs> not on the tip of it, it's like right on the, the end. It kind of hangs over a little bit. There's a little bit of freedom. It's a very hard thing to do. And you have to almost do it consistently to be able to get up. Uh, without using any of your dashes. It's crazy. Any more secrets? Small secrets? Small secrets? Anybody? Broken sections? I'm sure there is. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll have to see how many strobes we got and if we have to come back to get some. <laughs> Hello. Kim, Kim coming to see what I'm doing. Madeline, it's your mother. 
You called me. Oh no. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. And it's all mirror and shattered and part of me escaped. <laughs> I'm dreaming, aren't I? Oh, in months? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I am wondering the same thing. She's so sassy. Time to give up and go home. Whoa! And then you're eaten. Delicious. Celeste Mountain. I don't remember this little section at the end here. Hmm. Are there any strawberries? No, I don't think there are. Maybe? Maybe I should go back down and check the bomb. Maybe I should go back down. You gotta be thorough. Or maybe we're gonna, yeah. That's a checkpoint. So yeah, let's go up top. And go speak to Theo. Yeah, because he's awesome. This isn't where you get a selfie though, is it? You get a selfie at, uh, on the on the bridge or whatever. You made it. Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. So many great pics. Want to see? Oh sure. <laughs> on his phone. That is so good. Maybe I'll hit a thousand followers. Formally commemorate. Oh, is the selfie. Take a selfie. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy like this. And she looks like a ghost. She's like, yeah, <laughs> like bright white. Oh, she's a cute though. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's alright, you can post it. I'm just not photogenic. No one looks good without a filter. <laughs> Fixed. Oh, he's an idiot. He's awesome. If, if you do play this game, don't rush through all this story. It's, it's, it might seem silly at times, but it is really, really nice. And it all matters. I'm done breaking promises to my site. Self life goals, I dig it. Are you getting any data? I don't have a smartphone and he's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Let's go. The thing is, um, I know I was just saying this actually. We were just talking about this to Kim, like everybody's leaving Facebook and stuff, and you know, I've been trying to leave for a long time. I've had like everything deleted off my Facebook for years, like five or six years I've been ready to get rid of it. But my family talked to me on there and it's the only platform they use. So and especially because I live abroad, uh it's very hard to, to chat with them otherwise, really. Maybe up here? This seems good. A little secret, maybe? Yeah. Oh, this isn't... All right, we got to bounce across. This one, we actually do need to dash, but we can dash right in the last second. There we go. So, yay. Very nice. Um, so, I, I kind of need to keep it because of Messenger, but then people are leaving WhatsApp because of the terms and conditions and moving to Signal. Is Signal? I mean, yeah, it's it's fine for messaging and stuff, but I don't know. What about um, if somebody changes their number and you don't get notified? It's going to be like back in the old days. And the reason we were talking about this is because we saw a movie where somebody was using a Rolodex. I watched in The Simpsons and they were using the ro a Rolodex. Oh, come on. What a nice surprise. How was your trip? Her mom's more supportive than her nightmares. Aww. Focus on your breathing, honey. Oh, you need to you need to imagine a feather. That's what Theo teaches her. That's cute. Well, that is area two, and I missed the tip. I missed the tip. So, not great. But how many strawberries did we get? I think we did good. I think we did well. 
We got probably got close. Oh, yeah! But we did miss a super secret area because we missed the tape for side B. So, where would the tape be? Does it show you? Oh, it's right in the beginning area. All right, we can do that. I think it's just over here. No? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need to activate the mirror again. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And we're going to have to do a bit of a thorough search throughout the rest. What about down there? Did we go down there? Maybe we did. Probably did. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Awful. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people use those platforms to communicate, and even though, yeah, they're evil and they're stealing data and stuff, we need an alternative. We need, like, some open source alternative. Some For some people, it's the only way they can communicate. Or, like, keep track of old friends that maybe you don't speak to very often, but you still don't want to lose them forever. It's weird. We can skip that. Nice. All right, let's be a little bit more thorough. Looking around, looking around. I'm keeping my eyes open. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Did we go down to this bottom area? We didn't. Oh, my God. Okay. The first thing I noticed... Sweet. All right. All right. Well, that was easy. I can't believe that. So silly. And we got all the strawberries as well. But the best thing is you can just return to the map. Boop. And you get to keep everything. Two more deaths and the B side. Let's do the B side. And we'll call that a video. It's midnight right now. I think Kim's waiting for me to go to bed because I'm very loud. But we can do this B side in 15 minutes. Maybe. Uh, what? <laughs> I got hit right on the side of the spike there, like really right on the side of it. What? We're going to be using these to... Oh, oh yeah, you get to... These have momentum as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I remember now. Uh-oh. You mess up. You, you've got to dash through these is the thing. So if you lose your dash, it's not like you just touch them and they shoot you through. Oops. Got to get that dash. Got to get that dash because we're going to be using it a lot more. What further we get in here. There we go. And this is what I mean where this is the the main... Wow, okay. I thought, why don't we have his dash back? The main area that introduces this doesn't teach you that mechanic. That is only if you want to go above and beyond, you know? Um, to these secret areas. And there's just so much of this, like, hidden mechanics um, that also, interestingly, makes speedrunning... Um, better because you can even you know in areas where yeah you don't need to use that momentum but if you do right then you're uh, oh crap how do we get up that to that one you know what let's go do this one first how do we get up here we go there we go oh no oh how do we do it let's 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 do this one at an angle at an angle oh no can we can't we wait a second can't we go up here yeah, and then down at an angle instead. That's better. Oh, no. I'm going to get hit there. Yep, 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 yep. I took too long on that wall. That's fine. We can go... Oh, no. Up! We'll let her follow us up here, and then we'll get out of here as soon as. I'm going to wait. Yep. And we'll dash down. Sweet, 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 sweet. Get me out of here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you got to go at an angle. Okay, okay, okay. We might have to do a little bit of memory here. There we go. Sweet. Go, go, go. No more dark Madeline. Oh, no. What have I done? We got caught on that little ledge. Look at that cheeky little ledge there just to catch you out. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, there's more of them now. And I've trapped myself in here by dashing against the wall. Whoop. 
Okay, we can go here and then we can go right down, go under there. Right. Ah, oh, not quite. So what we should do is instead, we should go like this probably. There's like a pattern to it. Oh no, it crushes us. We've got to dash back. So there is a pattern to it. But then that pattern kills you. Oh no. Held the wrong direction. Not great, not great. I'm playing with an Xbox uh, controller. It's funny because I played this on the Switch, obviously. And, um, well, you know what the Switch controller can be like. Oh, crap. We've got to go right back to the bottom to do that. Um, with the drift and stuff. And the tiny little buttons that it has. But, I actually, I, I don't know. It was okay. I, I never really had an issue with the, with the Joy-Cons until very, very recently. We need to go up. We should go back up and then back down there. We should go back up. Okay. Uh, and I've just recently bought a Switch Pro controller for that very reason. Uh, mostly for Kim to play Hades. Yeah, that'll work. And for myself to play Hades, of course. Because even though I have it on PC, it would be awesome because it has cross-play. Which is great. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, like, climbed up over it instead of... Oops. Oops. We can dash up there because the springs give you your dash back. Get me up there. There we go. Jump off the walls. Lovely. Every time we go to a new screen, it's brilliant. It's beautiful because that is a new checkpoint that we have. So, little successes. That's all we need. Little successes. And that is another great thing about the game. Like, dying is instant to come back, right? Like, it's, it's right away. Sorry. I need to dash down as soon as I get through this. So... If you make a mistake, it, you don't even have time to feel bad about it. All you can do is say, okay, I need to do this next time. Uh, I need to, I dashed a little bit too hard over that direction. I shouldn't have dashed at the end of that there. And then you're already back in trying again. How do we do this? How do we do this? Can I, if I jump at the end? Yeah, 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 okay. Sweet. All right. I remember doing this where you've got to like fall underneath them and uh, just get over enough to get back through. Ah! I'm moving myself over a little bit too much. Come on. There we go. Uh oh. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice. Oops. That was stupid. Uh, you know what? This is the room I was thinking about when I was like, I'm sure there's a secret room. I'm sure there's an extra secret room that makes it a lot harder. This is the room where I'm going, where you're going like back and forth and collecting those coins. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got to, you've got to keep the uh, the dash. Obviously, you can't use it. So you have to jump out of here. This is one thing. You have to jump out there. Oh, no, the spikes. <laughs> you need to go for an angle, fool. What am I doing? Uh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Let's go. Come on, Madeline. We got this. We got this, girl. Okay. Yep. Take me back. Nice. Um, I really... Don't know what to do here. I'm thinking we fall down. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. We did it. We made it. Oh, is this one I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, of course. This is, yeah, where you're jumping and dashing across. Got to dash right at the end. Jump. There we go. Jump. 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 We need to dash up there and then... Okay. Oh my god. Okay. That's hard. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. Told you you've got to be consistent for later on. Getting those dashes right at the peak of the of the exit, right as you exit. 
Oh, no, no, no. Too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much of an angle. How do we how do we make that more consistent? Come on. Come on. Ah, no. Holding angles, holding angles with my controller. I do, of course, using the D-pad because I think you'd be an insane person not to be using the D-pad on something like this. But for some reason, my accuracy is still off, so... Maybe you wouldn't be so mad after all. Oh, I'm go I need to go across. <laughs> I need to go across. I'm going the wrong way. I'm trying to come out at the top instead of... Uh, you can just go straight across there. Okay. And that's what the... Um, that's what that little... Uh, uh, the binoculars are for. Because you can just do that. Oh, yeah! Get me out of here. Nice. And we're at the top. Oh, no, this sucks. Oh, my God, no. I'm... Oh, no. Yeah. I remember this part being really awkward. <laughs> Just wait for him all to come back. <laughs> no. There we go. We, we, we're not quite, you're like dashing to it. Damn it. Yeah, I remember this being really awkward. Oh, it's brilliant. I love it. Okay. Oh, no. The last thing you want to do is be in the, in the area when it doesn't come back because it just will never come back then. Okay. Bong. 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 Oh, my God, no. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, uh, timing's bad. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, you miss one, it's back down to the bottom. I don't know why I find this so tricky. Yeah, you've got to get that timing perfect. Maybe I need to be bouncing between them a little bit more instead of just climbing one. Maybe that'll give me a bit of a boost. Oh yeah, it's way better. That's my problem. <laughs> what an idiot. I remember having an issue with that before as well because I was just sticking to one side. <laughs> you just bounce up them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that's area two. One, area two. All strawberries. Um, both hearts that we can get right now. And um, B-sides done. Pretty good for an hour. Pretty good for the first hour. Like I said, the whole point of this is to get to the DLC that I've never played. But to get there, to get to like that end level gameplay, right? The end game. Um, I need to be that good because it's end game content, um, I believe. Uh, I believe it only unlocks at the end. So we're going to get there. We're going to collect everything. I'm going to try. Maybe go to, through to the heart at the end, but it, God, it, it's, it gets really seriously crazy. We'll see how far we get, but I've really enjoyed that. It's just beautiful. I just love coming back to it. Feels great. Um, probably we'll be starting to do one area per video as it starts to get harder. Or maybe just a stage, and I'm not joking. Uh, there are some stages that are just absolutely absurd. If you like the look of it, get it. And to, I, I, it's, from me, it's a, it's a 10 out of 10. In fact, I actually wrote a review on this game. Um, it's the only review I've ever... It's the only game I've ever given a 10 out of 10. And I've written nearly 100 now. I think I'm on 91. Um, and it's a game I didn't even get for review. I just loved it so much I had to write about it. Um, get it, play it. You can always use assist mod if it's too hard for you. Beautiful story, great gameplay, amazing game design. If you are a game developer, are you interested in that? But until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.